So what are some of the things that men need to know as they enter into a sexual relationship in marriage? I always encourage my brothers in Christ to remember that your wife is wired differently than you are physically and sexually. For men, and th again, this may sound like a stereotype, but um, men tend to want sex more often than women do because of the way that we're aroused and the way that we're turned on. Men are very, very visual, and so it doesn't take much to get us in the mood. But for the man, you need to remember that your wife needs different things to prepare her for physical intimacy than you do. She needs to feel like the two of you are communicating. She needs to feel loved. She needs to know that you care for her. Uh, she needs to know that you're attentive to her needs. In our relationship, uh, it's important that our house is in order. It's important that we know our kids aren't gonna walk in on us, <laughs> that doors are locked or that they're away. Uh, it's important that I have been engaging her in conversation, listening to her, understanding how she feels, uh, that I have pursued her, that I take her out on dates, that we do fun things together. Um, for me, I've had to learn, and maybe this will be an encouragement to the guys, that sometimes I need to give her a foot rub or a back rub with no expectations and no strings attached. Um, do little things for your wife. Um, I, I hear men talk about how, how confused they are by women. Women are really not that confusing. They are giving us a constant, steady stream of information about how they're feeling and what they're thinking if we'll just listen to them. And if we'll study our wives like we study um, our favorite team, if we'll pay attention to our wives like we pay attention to our favorite hobby or our favorite sport, we'll learn them. And once you learn your wife, you know what works and you know what she needs and what makes her feel comfortable. Maybe your wife likes to come home and you have dinner ready. Maybe your wife uh, likes to come home from a rough day and you take the kids while she takes a bath. Maybe your wife likes to walk into the bedroom and the bed is made and there are candles lit and there's a gift on the bed for her. One of the things I've learned is that when I travel, I try to bring home occasionally a small gift that I picked up while I was gone. Study your wife, ask a lot of questions, and then give her what you know she enjoys and appreciates. Um, for the ladies, I wish my wife was here. She would do a better job uh, of, of handling this one. But ladies, remember for us men that we are visual and we like you. More than love you, we do, but we like you. We like the way you look. We like the way you smell. We like the way your hair looks. We like your body. We like the parts of your body. And again, not being crass or disrespectful, but the Bible says that our bodies belong to one another. Another one of the things that Paul told the church in Corinth. So women, understand that your body belongs to you and it belongs to your husband. Uh, don't be offended if your husband looks at you. Don't be offended if you catch him when you're in the bathroom getting dressed or getting ready for work or, or for church. Uh, don't be offended or surprised if you catch him peeking at you. It's just how we're wired. And sex in the marriage is a place to enjoy one another. It's a place to play and have fun. It, it's a place where you can really have a good time. But women, remember this, that your man will probably want to be intimate with you more than you want to be intimate with him. But the more intimate you are with him, the more you'll enjoy it and the more you'll desire it too. Um, I'm not gonna give you a quota of how many times a week. Uh, that's something every couple has to figure out on their own. But also remember this, ladies, that a man's greatest need is to be respected. And so be your husband's biggest fan. Talk about him uh, in front of his friends. Don't ever criticize him. Don't ever make fun of him. When uh, he does something, even if it's small, tell him he's done a good job. Brag on him. Uh, brag on him to your friends when you're in public places with your husband. Tell people how wonderful he is and he will be a much better husband around the house. It's just how we're wired. So remember, if you can do things like that uh, in public, he'll be a better husband for you. But if you'll also encourage him privately, and this goes both ways, but speaking from a man's perspective, when my wife tells me that she loves me and she tells me that she appreciates me, when she notices small things I do for her, or for the kids around the house, when I know that my wife has got my back, I'm unstoppable. And there's nothing in the world that can bring me down.